Yeah, in the last uh, video clip, uh, in terms of security awareness, um, I mentioned the, the little trinkets that you can uh, give out. And I've just been to uh, a bit of a home show. And uh, one of the government agencies is here with uh, reflective armbands. And given that I walk all over the place, and uh, it's actually kind of dangerous walking around this town uh, because everybody else drives. So crossing the streets is, uh, you know, <laughs> fraught with peril, uh, especially early in the morning, which I do quite frequently, or late at night. Um, anyways, they had these reflective armbands, and, and uh, you know, they may save my life. Uh, so I'm going to be advertising that government agency uh, wherever I'm walking. So just, you know, re remember that uh, in terms of... Uh, stuff you do in, in terms of security awareness. Like I said, you know, think of advertising, do the repetition, be creative, change, uh, be humorous, um, you know, work on it. Uh, it really does work. Security awareness really can do an awful lot of good for you. Anyways, uh, so moving up the chain into training, which is in the you know, specific uh, job-related, uh, security-related jobs uh, and uh, jobs that have specific uh, security requirements for their positions. Um, you, you need to have, uh, you know, training in the security-related functions, um, uh, making sure that uh, people know how to manage firewalls, update firewalls, choose rules for firewalls if, you know, firewalls are within their purview. Um, having, uh, you know, audit functions. Uh, what type of audit functions are there in that particular job and with the particular technology that they are dealing with? So, uh, ensure that. Um, Oh, what else? Uh, anyways, lots of, uh, uh, you know, scope there in, in the training. But, you know, it, it is uh, specific to the function, specific to the tool being used. Um, you know, make sure that that training is there. Partly so that you can hold the person accountable. You know, if you, uh, you know, have somebody running... Uh, malware detection system and uh, the person says you know well you, your company gets hit and the you know you go back to that person you know why didn't you update this why didn't you um, ensure that we were safe and protected and you know the answer nobody ever told me how nobody ever gave me the training on on how to update this thing where I was supposed to get the signatures so on and so forth so make sure that you have the proper training for the people who have those types of jobs uh, you're increasing their ability to protect the the organization uh, to make sure that the enterprise is is safe is secure um, so now Moving up from there, of course, we get to our level, the professional level, and into senior management. And here we're talking about education, security education. Um, education about information systems and the security of information systems. Um, it's, in, in one sense, it's more in depth. Um, in another sense, it's more in breadth. Um, we are not asking, uh, you know, professionals to specifically update and manage firewalls and updating firewalls. Uh, we want to keep people safe. We don't want emergencies to happen. Um, we want uh, the professionals and we want management to have the 
uh, education to perform the strategic planning, the strategic thinking, the uh, uh, factors in, involved in risk uh, assessment, analysis, and, and management decisions. Um, as well as the, the creation and updating of policy, those types of issues. Uh, so all of those types of things go into our, our education aspect here. Um, you, you need them to uh, gain expertise, um, uh, of course, over you know experience you only get from uh, well from time in the job you know as they say uh, good judgment comes from experience and experience unfortunately comes from bad judgment very often so um, but you know there there are you know as they also say uh, learn from the mistakes of others you will never live long enough to make them all yourself so. Uh, you're you're going to be looking at more extensive uh, and and longer term courses, and uh, you know university level or or similar uh, types of of training of education, and this is you know definitely going to be part of your own career development.